Can you receive VA benefits from exposure to this foam in service and the development of a serious health condition? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What are your other thoughts? Any other um, experiences you've had with this foam and, and the difficulties involved with these cases? I think this is just another one of the big areas that is going to come in the future. So, you know, first we had Agent Orange, then we had Gulf War Syndrome. Now we're having burn pits and, and now this firefighting foam. It's something that there isn't a lot of research on the long term effects, but the research that has been done shows that it's very damaging and that it's definitely becoming more of an issue. So even though the difficulty right now of getting service connected is pretty high because there haven't been a lot of claims for it, don't let that deter you from filing a claim because the evidence is out there showing that these chemicals cause these conditions. And if you had significant exposure, you definitely deserve service connection for it.